So when Kayla came in, she was evaluated by our, our trauma department and very quickly was recognized that she had an injury to her cervical spine. That triggers a clear response in our level one trauma uh, facility where the appropriate people are summoned to, to make immediate decisions. Having that available here uh, 24 hours a day, I think it helps set us apart from a number of different hospitals and especially spinal cord trauma. We do a lot of spinal cord trauma for the region. With that, uh, she had broken her neck. She was brought into our emergency room and was unable to fully use her arms and her legs. And the bones in her neck were displaced. All of a sudden, I guess I started complaining about, you know, not being able to feel my feet and not being able to feel my hands. And then it was just kind of that fearful feeling of, you know, I, this isn't normal. This isn't how I'm supposed to feel. And I knew something had to have been wrong because I had never felt that way before. So we realigned the, the bones in her neck to take some of the pressure off her spinal cord, um, but they wouldn't stay that way. So what we needed to do is make a permanent change to those bones so that they would uh, stay not putting any more pressure on her spinal cord. So we did a fusion by tying these three bones together so that they would then stay in that position to protect her spinal cord. This is what it looks like from the front. This is what it looks like from the side. And what that did was it provided the space for her spinal cord so it would not be injured further and so that it had a chance to recover.